our group as essentially a religious alternative. All of the roles that any religion takes, this society is involved in, whether it's in the raising of children and setting moral standards for children. We are involved in marrying as well as participate in naming ceremonies for individuals. We have the good things, the community, the sense that life should have a moral purpose, but without the dogma. This society is a congregation, I think, above all. It's a group of people that really care about each other. It's also a place that challenges you to think. It's just a place to belong. We have long been affiliated with the American Humanist Association. What's important about ethical humanism is that it's about doing as much good for as many people as possible in the short time that we're alive. Take the time to extend your kindness because people are what is most important. Then you know that you care about other people and other people care about you and maybe someday they might help someone else because you help them. It's like a family reunion every Sunday. I can walk in and have five or ten people smile at me, hug me, and say it's great to see you. And we will then start as we do uh, every Sunday morning with a song. It could be a wonderful world. We bring the Sunday School in in the very beginning so that the entire community is in the room at the same time. Older people who don't have children in the Sunday School anymore and don't get to interact with them, they get to see all these wonderful wiggly kids singing. And then the song is over, we dismiss the Sunday School kids to the Sunday School. Our golden rule is Sunday School. It's called the golden rule because I think that's the one consistent theme that I can find positive in all religions. They teach us folk tales, and we do writing assignments and art projects. Should we accept the goal and stop singing? A big part of our curriculum is asking questions, not just giving them information as getting things from them and getting them to talk to each other. And then Daddy has a bunch of hey, a lot friends. of other words without without thinking. Yes, 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 inconsiderate words. Well we have to show that it wasn't the right thing to do. So what happened after you said those words? So the purpose of having a school here for children is making sure that there's a place that parents can get support in teaching their children how to be good people. We do a lot of community service. It ties into the golden rule, being helpful, good people. We work in soup kitchens in Evanston and in Skokie. We usually make lunches for homeless people. I'm putting the sandwich together. Someone's going to be eating this who might not have that sandwich if I were not making it. It's a really a different perspective on life. We will go to Emily Oaks, which is a nature preserve. They get to help spread the um, wood chips on the paths every year. And it's hard work. They love it, though. It feels really good, especially with my friends. And afterwards, I'm like, wow, I helped make a change in my community. We greet the kids and send them off to their Sunday school. And then we follow with fairly cerebral activity for the adults. If you have answers to life's questions, this probably won't work for you, but if you have questions and you want to think through and work through them with others, this might actually be a nice place for you. You will learn about everything and anything here on a typical Sunday morning. It could be a science lecture, it could be an art lecture, it could be a humanities lecture. It's one of the best lecture series you'll find outside of TED. Science is under attack. I've managed to meet and speak with and listen to somewhat high profile people that I otherwise would have had no opportunity to meet and this is, this is my way to rough shoulders with the greats. <laughs> we get together on Sunday morning and say what should we know about that's bad that should be corrected, what should we know about that's a solution and that's where this provides a structure for how to look at what is there to do. What you'll find here is a group of people who are not afraid to discuss issues, uh, not afraid to disagree either, but who have a commonality of searching for the world's best answers. It's a place for everybody we're really accepting here. We leave whether you believe in God or not up to you. Whatever you believe in, we are welcoming you to our community. 
We want people to come here. We want to grow our community. And we know there are so many people out there who would in enjoy us. So when somebody does come, we are excited. You can come here every Sunday morning and have a fun time making new friends and having your parents make new friends also. If you're driving by and you see this building and you always say, you know, what is that? What is that? Come in and, and, and check it out because it's about all the good things that it means to be a human being. Uh, it's community, it's family, it's purpose. And that's what you'll find if you come here.